Hi, I'm Jordan. I'm Bianca. I'm Maya. And, and this, this is Fridays, Fridays at Fridays. Fridays. So today we're going to be talking a little bit about what we've been doing here at Fridays Films and just our capstone in general. Um, I really liked like, the filming experience. I've also, I've like, I've kind of liked the editing. And like learning how to like set up everything, like the lights, the microphones, the red. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've really enjoyed the post-production process. I think it's cool once you film everything, you bring it together, and I feel like that's when the magic really happens. See, that's really interesting. Uh, I really don't like editing. Um, <laughs> I'm definitely someone who really enjoyed what we did with the creative process earlier. Yeah. I think like two weeks ago, I thought that was really cool. Um, I also really just like putting all this together, thinking mm -hmm. of content and interacting with subjects. I, I really like the shooting aspect. Um, so do you guys think that we've been able to kind of see what, you know, makes movie magic here? It's not as glamorous as you think it would be. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. like it's doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. It's not as fast paced as I expected. Yeah, for me, I think the magic definitely is like in those kind of tricks that everybody pulls on both on set and after the shooting is done. It's definitely different when you're behind the screen for sure. And I'll admit, like, I wasn't originally interested in the whole uh, creative idea-making process, but the first day when we all came together and we were able to brainstorm, I just thought that was really fun. I think we've all kind of noticed that this is not, you know, the high-stress company that we thought it was going to be, and I think that's honestly going to be a good thing because we've been able to learn so much about lingo and etiquette yeah. and just, like, little things that we would just get hammered on if we went into a real, you know, film studio and everything. Oh, everybody seems, like, really, really nice. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I just, like, I love, like, talking to the people. Like, um, they seem to, like, care, like, a lot about film. Like, everyone here is really knowledgeable, and yes. we didn't even realize um, how much little things go into mm -hmm. such a big project. I mean, uh, Trevor was explaining um, how editing is basically organizing everything. Yeah. There's a balance that needs to be set, definitely, between, mm -hmm. you know, grinding out at at a computer and then also being able to exercise yourself creatively. Exactly. Yeah. If you guys could have like worked on like any like film or TV series or something like what would it be? Truman Show would have been really interesting oh, to work that. on. That was an amazing yeah. movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, just because it. the world within a world um, is just an amazing concept. I've always been fascinated by uh, movies and TV shows that have um, kind of supernatural effects going on like people flying or just like, I wanted to see how stunt doubles work, and it would be cool to see uh, what it's like on the set without all the animation, mm -hmm. like just yeah. the raw footage. It's like a dream of mine to like work with like Wes Anderson or Guillermo, <laughs> or Guillermo del Toro, like uh, Pan's Labyrinth is like one of my all time favorite movies. The art direction, like it's so like, the set design and everything, it's so beautiful. And like what he does with color, I think is like, it's really, really, in the cinematography, it's really, really like, artful. The amount of detail that goes into a production like that is just amazing. We've all talked a little bit about the creative process, so mm -hmm. um, where do you guys see us going in the future, you think, here in the next couple weeks? We want to go out and like shoot something for real. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah, it'd be cool to go like out into the city and just maybe do a fun montage. It's been really cool having all the resources like basically at our fingertips, and now that we know how to work everything, mm -hmm. we, have, we have even a greater resource of the city of San Francisco at right. our fingertips. I think it's cool that we are able to use it ourselves, but I'd like to also see how the actual professionals deal with the equipment. Where do you guys see us taking Friday's films in the Friday installment of Friday's Fridays. <laughs> this was like all like sort of like thrown together last minute. Um, we just like we weren't really doing anything today and we kind of wanted to do something. In the future or the next couple of weeks or so uh, it would be cool to learn about the sound and music behind the videos. I haven't had a chance to really see that yet. Definitely um, I'm really interested in what they do with the short films here because oh, yeah. um, they have fr Friday's originals. Um, and I think those That's would be cool. really cool to, to explore and see what they're doing. Yeah. Do you have any advice for anyone who might be interested in this capstone? First, I was skeptical. It was going a little slow. I wasn't really learning much, but like today has been really fun and I really enjoyed it. So stick with it. And if you're really interested and want to, and if you think it's going to be something you're interested in, like go for it. I don't know. Go in with an open mind, I'd say. Yeah, I agree. And I think my one piece of advice is make the best of the situation mm -hmm. um, because it really is a, all a matter of perspective. Um, but we've been able to, I think, realize in the last couple of days that we're going to have to work a little bit harder at really reaching out to the staff 
um, trying to, you know, get on set and yeah. do all these other Thanks things and fun. get all of our stuff together. Well, thanks for watching our first installment of Fridays, Fridays at Fridays. Fridays. <laughs>